Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day two of Friends Week. If you didn't get this already, all of this is going to be pre-recorded, so anything that you said about changing anything in this week is not going to happen because it's all been pre-recorded, and I do not want, do not have the ability, nor do I have the energy or as much. I'm going to have to go on recharge time after doing all these recordings, so take what you get, and that's all I'm going to say. Unless everything was positive, then awesome! I hope you're having an excellent week so far. It's going to be an excellent day, just like yesterday. Today. today we are going to be bringing some YouTube friends coming on your some uploads, some don't. Some might play Pokemon, some always play Pokemon, some never play Pokemon anymore. Some quit, but nonetheless they're all here united today to work together under another Sun team. However, Poke Envoy, starting off with him, why is he a Ninetales? Poke Envoy, I will pick Ninetales just because I love Naruto, lol. So, just because you failed that much with such a short and weird name, you got Flashfire. No, to be quite honest, even though I gave you the exact same set that my girlfriend had, you forgot Drought, and I don't know how you could forget Drought, Poke Envoy. You go into a Pokemon match, you're looking at the meta, and you forget to bring the Sun, and you're trying to make a Sun team. However, based on the team, it wasn't half bad, because, I mean, Sun was just there to screw over other weather teams. But you know what? Flashfire is just as useful as Drought, unless you want to argue that, which in which case you would win. So... Poke Envoy, you are also a female. I had to change that before I started uploading this. Anyways, next up is going to be Browner's YT. Browner's YT, why is he a Sceptile? He's a Sceptile because I'm not as strong as Blaziken or as bulky as a Swamper. But damn, when I get down to business, pop on those choice specs, I do work like schoolwork. But yeah, kind of lame. But Sceptile is definitely the most awesome Pokemon ever. I would not agree with you, Browner's, nor are you wearing specs. But you know what? You will be doing the Flying Gem Acrobatics trick with the Unburden because... That's what I said. So, he's going to be running actually... What? What nature is that? What nature? Lonely nature. How could I forget that? Wow! Okay, Browners is running the lonely nature. With the Acrobatics, Leaf Blade, X Scissor, and HP Fire. You know why he's lonely? Because no one's going to ever suspect. When no one looks at him, okay, he's all the way out there in the UK. And when he comes to battle, ladies and gentlemen, you want him on his team. You know why? He brings his surprises, which comes in the form of HP Fire for all those grass types that can take X Scissors. Or all those other, I don't know, steel types who can come and take both grass and bug moves. He says, no! He's going to burn you, and you're going to like it. Next up, Darkwing Ducklet. This is a guy who's gone missing off the face of the earth. In fact, the comment that explains why he's a Grand Bull is actually removed because he took off his channel and that man ditched us ladies and gentlemen he ditched us from YouTube but that's okay I don't hate him I don't hate him he's still allowed in Friends Week he's still okay and I remember the reason why he chose uh, the Gramble because not only is he a fairy in real life but he also has a massive bite and he has an attitude you piss him off he's gonna smack you and he's gonna smack you hard and that's why he's running max attack max speed out of in nature with the choice Ban. Dang, this guy does some damage as well. Some excellent coverage with close combat, crunch, fire punch, and stone edge. And if you ever, ever, ever think of trying to put a status on this boy, bam, he took quick feet to thinking about this because he's quick to think about these things. He prepares for everything, and that's what we're going with. Next up, Kitty Killer K, also known as XX Kitty Killer XX. Seen his name many times on this channel. You've seen him one more time in Friends Week. He is a Vaporeon. Why is he Vaporeon? Listen to this. I would say it would be a Vaporeon, not just because it's my favorite Pokemon, but let's say, just say I started off as an Eevee and chose one of the very many possibilities of what I could have become. I became someone who was very supportive of other friends, such as being a support Pokemon, can take many hits, insults and such, which out much damage, and when I need to deal damage and kick ass, emphasis on kick ass, such as Vaporeon's high special attack, in defense of my friends, that is why I would be a Vaporeon. Dang, son, would you like to go back to Poke Envoy and put his to shame? He said just because he likes Naruto. You got reasons, and that's why I made you extremely meta. Not because you're going to have high special attack, but you're going to be my special defensive wall with the water absorbed. And the lefties, I didn't give you hydration because, you know, I thought I'd be running a sun, uh, sun team. Dang, I didn't get that right. He's got Wish Protect, Toxic, and Roar. Complete support, rolled by Taunt. But anyone who gets taunted is going to be ticked and is going to forget what to do. So you know what, man? I don't blame you. But you know what? You needed support. You needed to do work. And that's what you got. Let's scroll down to our two hidden Pokemon. Not because they're more special, but just because they get just on that part of the list. Who cares? You Metagross. Run in the Mew. Wow, Ew, Mew, I can see the difference, but that's not the reason why he's a Mew. The reason why he's a Mew, because he's unpredictable, fun to have around, and always doing something new. Ew, being the Mew, because he likes something new, and that's why he's being a synchronized life orb set with the Stealth Rock 3 attacks. Now he's, he's kind of the supporting guy, because he's always supporting him, but at the same time, that man will put on a battle, if you ask him to. And I, even though I haven't seen him, 
He's still going to do the most work with the Timid. Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Investment. And he's going to put some pain on. But you know who's not going to put on pain? You know who's going to be completely devastating? The man himself. The man who is the king of OU in our group, so to speak. And so he self-proclaimed himself. And no one will counter it. And the man who is just... He's undescribable. Dr. Diego. And he's going to be the Emolga. Now, why is he the Emolga? It was a consensus among the YouTube friends, as well as, basically, he used to have a picture of an Emolga on his Skype profile. So that's why I made him the Emolga. But not only that, he wanted to also be a Pichu or a, or a Wooper. But, nah, man, you need power. And Emolga has power with that Choice Scarf Motor Drive. So this man is going to protect the rest of my team. You know what he's got? I figure, you know what, Diego? You like to play meta. I'm going to give you meta. I'm going to give you Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, HP, Ice, and Air Slash. That should do well enough in the OU meta game, because that's where you're being stuck since you're so dang good at it, and you're going to th throw some pain down and throw some power. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the team you're going to be seeing today. There's going to be no sun, but it does not mean that they're not going to make the rain crash down on these teams. They're not going to make the sand cower in fear. They're going to make the hail go away. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the battle. And so today we find our friends walking through a nice cavern when Terror of Xenos 9 shows up and challenges them to a Pokemon match. Now, kind of weird because it feels like Pokemon Blue in real life edition, but this is not in real life edition, ladies and gentlemen. This is the world of Pokemon, and we know our friends will be able to take them on. However, I will admit that this battle was a little bit different in the sense that not everyone will get equal sunlight, equal spotlight, so to say, because there is no sunlight, especially since we're in a cave. It's kind of, um appropriate, I suppose, but not, not many of you will get equal share just because of a single threat, and the threat on his team will be leading off, but Poke Envoy will be leading off, expecting that he has the sun, which was his call, realizing, never mind, I don't have the sun, send a new Metagross, but Bugsy, Bugsy, the giant threat to this team, leads off, so Poke Envoy is now going to have to come in, he's going to have to take a bug bite, which is painful, he knows that his choice banded. And then this is where the fun actually begins. He's gonna switch out, go into his outbreak, the Nidda King, as I as Poke Envoy sees this, makes a double switch, goes into Kitty Killer. He's just gonna go for the protect to scout like all meta Pokemon do. He goes for the toxic. He's like, Duh. okay, so he's gonna switch out, make a double switch in the Darkwing Duckling, expecting the poison so that he can get his quick feet bonus, but unfortunately it's not going to happen. And between a poison jab and an earthquake, the fairy. AKA Tyler is going to fall. I'm very sorry. I could not give you more spotlight than that. But you, Metagross, knows he can take a hit from the Mega Horn. He's going to go for the Psychic after the Stealth Rocks. Clean out that Nidda King, and that's one threat that's gone. It doesn't have to be OU, ladies and gentlemen. The threat is here. And, ladies and gentlemen, the Bugsy. The Bugsy comes out. And you're going to see why not many people get their sunlight. Because Diego's going to come in. Can't even take the bug bite for balls. He's going to switch out. Go into Kitty Killer. Because you know he's going to have to. Can't even take that. Ladies and gentlemen, what the heck do you do against this thing? Now, Diego could have easily Volt Switch. But he was just too much afraid. He was afraid that if this thing was going to do any more damage, he was going to be bad. It's going to be bad. He should have just Volt Switch. It's okay, though. People make mistakes. Luckily, Kitty Killer gets enough recovery to be able to go for the Wish. Take a bug bite as this thing's trying to nod its face. But what he's going to do is he's going to make an excellent play. Call Poke Envoy. He's a dude. Get in here. Take the bug bite. Get all my health back. And now you're going to be able to threaten him out with the fire move. Excellent way of shutting this guy down. So now he's going to have to switch out. Goes into Charizard. Poke Envoy knows this thing was coming in. But you know what? It can't take fire blast, especially after rocks. And as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this thing comes in probably with the solar power. But Poke Envoy, the blunder, the blunder, ladies and gentlemen, pulls off and make sure that this thing does not get any special attack bonuses. Even though it goes for Earthquake. Who cares? So, Twinkle! Twinkle, Twinkle, little Starmie is gonna come in, threaten out Poke Envoy, but Kitty Killer knows he's just gonna be Death Fodder. But the Blizzard! He has Blizzard, ladies and he d I think this is an anti-weather team. Just saying, but he's gonna stay in, not even go for the Protect. He doesn't want to make this any longer. He knows how to make professional plays. So, the thing with Blizzard, Browner's YT is not afraid of it. He's gonna hope for hacks. He was hoping to kill Tweet, but he doesn't kill, and this is all over, except not because the Blizzard misses! And now, it is time for Browner's YT to clean up, as the hip only comes in on the Flying Gem Acrobatics. Oh my goodness, the whole humanity, the pain, the awesomeness of Sceptile, the Browners. Oh, Bugsy thinks he can come in, but no, like I said, HP Fire. Clean out those threats, I think, can take it. As Electivire comes in. Shock and awe? I think not. The real shocking is coming from Browners. Sweeping your team, even if you crit him with a Thunder Punch. 
this has been day two of Friends Week. Like I said, you did not all get equal sharing time, but you were all equally important to me as I created this team. Comment, rate, and subscribe, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this battle. This has been day two. See you at day three. Peace.